Hi everyone, I'm Johan. Today I'm going to talk about the Meta Production Engineer interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at, and a bunch of tips for each round. Quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This video has been put together by production engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They've coached hundreds of candidates successfully and are available on the website for a direct booking if you're looking for a more personalized guidance. Right then, moving on to the interview. Typically, the interview process kicks off with a brief phone call with a HR recruiter. Beyond that, you can expect the following rounds depending on the position you are applying for. Online assessment, coding interview, system interview, design and architecture interview. So starting with the HR screen, here are three tips. You can expect some common behavioral and resume related questions such as, tell me about yourself and why Facebook? So firstly, prepare a crisp introduction of yourself and your professional journey. Make sure to include a nugget that helps you stand out and be more memorable. Secondly, have a clear reason for why you're applying at Meta, as well as why you think you'd succeed there. Next, make sure to gather your thoughts about your previous work experience and decide ahead which specific projects you will discuss. Focus on topics like what your contribution was, how things went and what you could have done better. Lastly, there may also be some technical inquiries thrown into the mix. So make sure you brush up on basic Linux commands, string manipulation and operations, scripting oriented questions, etc. Next up is the online assessment round, which typically involves an online Linux questionnaire that takes about 18 to 20 minutes to complete. Questions revolve around Linux systems and commands, operating system concepts, networking and so on. I have two tips for this round. First, start by familiarizing yourself with basics Linux concepts, commands and topics like process scheduling, network protocols, IP addressing, basic troubleshooting techniques, etc. Next, look for practice tests online and spend some time solving them under a 20 minute deadline to boost your preparation. Moving on to the next round, the coding interview. It's typically a one hour round where you are typically asked two data structure and algorithm coding questions. Here are some insights and tips for this round. First off, it's unlikely you're going to get some super complicated algorithm since you're not going to be doing stuff like that in your day to day job. Your interviewer tries to simulate what you'd actually be doing as a production engineer. So expect a lot of string manipulation and operations, scripting oriented questions, file reading and writing, creating and handling interfaces and topics similar to this. Next, it's important to have a good understanding of the solid understanding of essential data structures like arrays, linked lists, trees and graphs, etc. As well as interfacing and input output basics. A question here could take the form of, hey, you have this HTML file. I'd like you to read it in, remove all email addresses from it and output it into a CSV. I suggest you practice solving common algorithms on platforms like leak code, hacker rank, etc. Then you can move on to coding on a whiteboard or paper without the aid of an IDE or compiler. Next, we have the system interview. This is a roughly 45 minute interview that focuses on responding to real world situations. This one is probably the most complex and diverse segment. Questions cover the breadth of topics like OS systems call, finding stack information or what files are being called for deep performance analysis, TCP dump, and most importantly, Linux troubleshooting and debugging. It will also touch upon topics like tooling, memory allocation, swapping, Linux processes, and Unix process lifecycle. It will typically commence with a high level troubleshooting of a likely scenario, such as an unhealthy web server or database. You will then be asked to probe deeper into the issue, identify the root cause and propose potential solutions. The objective is to assess your understanding of systems at scale and their behavior under load. The interviewer will challenge the boundaries of what you know and whether you can implement it. For instance, what tools might you use to debug something? 
Do you have an understanding of things like I.O., CPU, shell, memory? Do you know how to actually write Unix shell? This is a pretty unusual environment to prepare for, so even if you've got a ton of experience, it's worth simulating an interview vibe so you get used to it. You can book an interview with one of the meta production engineers at Prepfully to practice this round at length and get an honest assessment of your performance. Find the link in the description box. In addition to that, there are several excellent Linux preparation books you can leverage to prep for, such as Advanced Linux Programming, Linux Kernel Development by Robert Love, and System Performance by Brendan Gregg. Finally, we have the Design Architecture interview, which revolves around tackling an ambiguous question on how to build a system and skillfully guiding the interviewer through the process. For instance, you might be asked, how would you design a scalable messaging platform? Three tips for this round. First off, your goal is to develop a simple and practical solution within a reasonable time frame, while taking into account any constraints that the interviewer may introduce. Next, don't jump to the solution immediately. Ask clarifying questions, scope the problem, and gather as much info as needed. Third, verbalizing your thought processes can actually help a lot, since your interviewer can then course correct you if you're either going off track or moving into less relevant areas. And if your interviewer challenges an assumption or gives you a hint, take it in. This is your opportunity to adapt and iterate. It's totally all right to change your mind. Acknowledging mistakes and changing your approach in a mature way is a good thing. At the end of the day, you've got roughly 45 minutes to cover an enormous amount of territory, so practice is key. Ask friends for help or go to a professional platform like Prepfully to get the practice with any one of the meta production engineers who have been mentoring hundreds of candidates. That's all for this guide then. Lots of additional helpful resources in the description. Don't forget to check them out. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.